Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And on this quick tip episode, I'm going to show you an extremely easy way to improve your edits and finally rid your videos of that overused jump cut. Now, if you don't know what a jump cut is, it's one of those abrupt cuts in a film or video that in most cases on YouTube, the camera is on a locked off tripod and it just looks awkward and hacky. So they might just be talking in the middle of a sentence. Oh, I'm over here. And sometimes it might even cut when they're talking in the middle of a sentence. See what I mean? As you may no doubt be aware, I don't use jump cuts. Well, not in the traditional sense. If I need to cut my footage, I generally push into a close-up, see? And when it suits my edit, I'll cut back to a wide shot. Now I can do this because I shoot my videos in 4K and when I edit my footage in Premiere, I always work in a full HD project or sequence. Basically, this means that by working in a full HD workspace, I can scale my footage down to 50% of its size in order to get 100% of the shot in frame. So when I need to punch in for a close-up, I merely scale the footage up to around 80% and BAM! We now have a close-up. It's nice and fluid, but it's still the exact same shot. It's just 30% bigger. Now I hear you say, but Grant, I don't shoot in 4K. I only shoot in full HD. Well, you can do this too, and I'll explain how. Oh, and guess what? No matter what editing suite you're working on, the same principle will apply too. So let me explain. Okay, so you have your full HD shot in your editing suite, in my case, Premiere Pro CC. So let's open a new sequence. But instead of making this a full HD sequence, let's make it 1280 by 720 and hit OK. What we've done is create a sequence that's roughly 30% smaller than our full HD video. So when we drop it in the timeline, we now have a close up or a zoomed in image without losing any resolution. You can now scale your footage down to around 70% to fit in the frame. And whenever you need to cut, you can bump it up to 100% and achieve a much less jarring cut to your footage. Pretty easy, huh? So there you go, gang. A quick and easy way to avoid those crappy jump cuts when making a video. So what if you're bumping down to 720p? At least your video will look better overall. Well guys, that is of course my time. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, why not subscribe? You can also support us on Patreon up here. And we've got two of our other film learning episodes right over here. My social media crap is above my head. And until our next episode rolls around, keep learning.